What's up guys, Husto7 here and today I've got a Black Ops 3 perk video. This one is specifically about uh, Blast Suppressor and I'm asking the question, is it worth it as a perk? Uh, what you see is that when you go to create a class it says no minimap signature when thrust jumping and that the thruster sound is suppressed. And so um, I thought initially this was going to be a pretty good perk. I use Blast Suppressor on almost every one of my classes in Advanced Warfare. I felt like, you know, you showed up on the minimap a lot, you're thrust jumping a lot, you know, when you would jump into the air or when you would slide or when you would, you know, go backwards or forwards or side to side, whatever you would appear on the minimap and so I figured that the same would be true for this and so I uh, started putting blast suppressor on a lot of my classes but what I started realizing is that the minimap signature uh, is actually not very noticeable in game at all so I'm going to cut to some game footage and I've got uh, my buddy MerkDog35 here so quick shout out and thanks to him for helping me with this footage and what we're going to do is we both are not using blast suppressor right now we're just going to jump up and down in the air and I'm going to try to have this video rendered as clear as I can so that you can see just how difficult it is to see the blast suppressor signature. So I'm really close to him, so I'm going to back up a little bit so that I can try to get a better view so that my little triangle is not. But I'm going to zoom right in on the map, and you see that's all you get. A tiny little dot with a little circle that emits from the outside of it. That's all that shows up on your radar. And you can see, I can see mine too. So when I jump in the air, I can see my little signature and my little dot and the little circle uh, that runs around uh, for me. So that's all you see on the minimap when you're using, when you're not using Blast Suppressor, when you use your thrust jump. And it does not uh, go off when you use the slide. You can see we took some turns uh, sliding and it wasn't going off. And when you wall run, if you jump and switch walls but do not use your Blast Suppressor, it does not set off. So it really only sets off when you use your uh, actual actual thrust jump. So, and if you see right here, I only used it a little bit, it still uh, went off. So it does go off even if you just use a little bit, but it's still very hard to notice. Now here you can see me with blast suppressor on. My noise is very quiet. I can still hear it. I don't know if you can on the video or not. It's, uh, it still is possible to hear it. And it's still possible to hear my enemy, uh, Merc Dog right here. I can still hear his too, but it is almost silent. Uh, you probably won't even be able to hear it over my voice, and I apologize that. It's very difficult to here and you can see that on the mini map now there is nothing but I still feel like this is not uh, necessarily that helpful uh, because the minimap indicator is so small and so hard to see that you probably won't see it in all the chaos and confusion and everything anyway. And here, even though the noise is a little bit quieter, I'm going to get right up next to him and you'll be able to very faintly hear it. But it's for the most part silent, which is a nice feature of Blast Suppressor because the little, you know, the little noise that the thrust jumper makes can be heard. However, I'm going to have my friend uh, Merc Dog here run some circles around me and what you'll see is that I can can hear his footsteps uh, pretty easy. So unless you're using blast suppressor with dead silent so that you're completely silent when you move, I kind of feel like it's not really worth it to take this as a perk slot. Uh, again, my evidence is based on the fact that the minimap signature is, is very small and very sort of difficult for, I think, the average player to see, unless they're really looking at their minimap and they're really being, you know, um, like focusing on that. And even though the noise is reduced um, very significantly, almost to the point of silence, which is helpful because you can, you know, hear that noise if someone's nearby you, uh, I still feel like they're just going to hear your footsteps and know that you're coming, um, you know, and so if you're going to get the drop on them from wall wanting or something, you know, they'll still be able to, to hear that or hopefully you'll get the kill before they notice anyway. So there you have it. In my opinion, uh, don't take Blast Suppressor. I think that it's at this point in the game, unless it receives some kind of buff or patch or something, I think it's not uh, very worth it. Um, I think it's not one of like the best perk. It doesn't, not necessarily maybe the the same, uh, you know, sort of caliber that it was uh, in Advanced Warfare, and so in my opinion, I think you should uh, switch it out for a different perk, or switch it out for an attachment on your gun or something. So, there you have it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Be sure to check out some of the other videos on screen. I've got a video where I talk about the Ghosts perk. Uh, I got a video where I talk about the stock attachment. Be sure, if you learned something in this video, uh, add it to your like, uh, you know, add a subscription to my channel so you can see all my Black Ops content, and share it. Share it with your friends. Um, I'd love for people to see, uh, you know, the content that I'm working on. Some links on the screen. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day.